You've thrown her here with a woman that I always knew was going to be a state champion, and now on October 30th of 2024, we can officially say Jaylee Jenkins is a Utah High School Activities Association 3A cross country champion. 1748-74, River White, best friend, teammate, training partner, 1748-83. As I said to River, it's like I want to be able to slow down the stretch run and put like some dramatic music behind it because it didn't get more Hollywood than that. I know obviously there's been a little time to kind of you know process and you know digest and reflect and you know the awards. What do you what do you recollect from that stretch run and just how crazy it was? Oh boy, I'm gonna be honest. I don't even recall that much because I was kind of just like trying to push as hard as I could. And so I think like. I knew that if I gave it my all, that would be, you know, that's my only goal. And so I think just that last bit, just trying to push as much as I could. And I knew she was on my back because the whole race I could fill her. And so I think that was a good motivation for me. But So as a woman that lived through the battle with Adria Favero at Bob Furman, uh, now now that you can, obviously, not you're not thinking about it in the moment because it's literally like, you know, every millimeter and, and every hundredth of a second counts. But... Mm -hmm. I mean, you have been part of two of the most dramatic finishes in the United States this year, Jaylee Jenkins. Yeah, I do. I'm not going to lie. I do like racing, like race, race. I like it when it comes down to that little bit because it just keeps me, it keeps me more motivated. And I think like there are times I'm like, oh, I could have pushed better in the race, like in little sections. But I think when I feel like I can give it my all that last bit and if I do that, I don't know. I think I have a pretty strong kick and so I try to use that to my advantage and yeah. I, I said to River, obviously both of you have have excelled and performed remarkably at the Regional Athletic Complex, mm -hmm. but I felt like it was just meant to be, it was so fitting that two of the women that I think are the, the strongest, the most ambitious, the most courageous get to be seniors on this course, right? Mm -hmm. On a true cross country course mm -hmm. is, is, is going to decide Yo, know, among you and River and Roslyn, like, yo, know, who's the best of the best? Yeah. I mean, how did how did you, uh, you know, once you found out that it was going to be at Sugar House and not at the Regional Athletic Complex again, like, like, did, did that sit well with you, like, uh, or or was it? Did it take some time to kind of process? I think for me, I was a little nervous because I've never ran on this course, obviously, because I've had uh, Rose Park for fresh, yeah, since freshman year. Right. So I think I was a little uneasy just because I wasn't sure how it felt. I we had. We hadn't had like a pre-state on here in a region. So I was just a little um, worried that I wouldn't know how to like go about the course, just not knowing like the feel of it. Cause I like to have a good feel before I, you know, have a big race like this. But um, <clears throat> I also think it was like a good, I, I think this is a really good course. I think like you said, it's a good course, um, especially when it comes down to big races like this. It's just, it really shows like the toughness in each competitors and so I think it was a good new little change it kind of it was definitely not boring I think Rose Park is great it's a good flat one but I think it can get a little boring at times I think this one has lots of hills to keep you occupied so absolutely yeah it was good when I was having the blessing of talking with Rosalind and with, with River as well but and we talked about this even back at Timpanogos and mm -hmm. throughout your career the three of you have done such an incredible job of uplifting the entire classification you know and therefore you know, having the classification, you know, be able to be recognized you know, because I've shared with you and River and Rosalind, like you can't talk about the best women in the state and not talk about the three of you and not talk about your classification. How much does that mean to you? Because that's like something even bigger than Jaylee Jenkins. Like what you're doing is like setting such an incredible standard, you know, for all the women that are, you know, they're gonna, that are gonna not just race for union, mm -hmm. but race in, in 3A going forward. Like to have that as part of your legacy in addition to that beautiful gold medal, how much does that mean to you? I love being able to represent 3A. I think like sometimes we can get overlooked because we are on the smaller side, but I also just love being able to push the people around me because I know that when I was an underclassman, having the upperclassmen, they were a big motivation to me. And so having that and trying to be that example for those around me as well has just been a huge game changer for me. And I, I hope it can only impact those around me as well. But just being in the classification we are and like being able to race with, you know, Roslyn and River has just been such a huge blessing on my side. And so I just, yeah, I really do love our classification. I think we are, I think we're all strong. And I, yeah, I think it's good. Last thing, Jaylee, your career has been so spectacular, but I mean, th this is the way it should be, you know, for a senior, this is the way it should be for two of the best mm -hmm. seniors ever in this classification. You and River like to, to have a moment like that. But I mean, you, I mean, I mean, I don't define you by a time or, or by a gold medal because you've, like I said, you've done so much more for Union and so much more for the classification in the state. But like, do, is this also always, you know, 
what you would visualize you know, at some point in your career, but especially as a senior, like what it would feel like, like what that reality would be like to hang that gold medal around your neck and to be a state champion? Yeah, I honestly think since freshman year, my main goal is just to be like a state champion and do the best I can do for me personally. And I think right where I'm at right now, being a state champ is, you know, the best I could do and having people around me to push me or having the people around me has helped me do that. And so I think it's, it's kind of tough when um, you're just not really, I wasn't really sure what I was planning on doing. I, I think when I first got into high school, I wasn't, I wasn't 100% like committed to running. Like I just was kind of doing it for fun. So I think that was kind of like put me on a rough start. But I think once I started to see like kind of the potential that helped me to push myself and to, you know, get where I am today. And I think that's the biggest factor for that. Absolutely. And she gets to be introduced last among those 10 wonderful women on stage. <laughs> After fifth and second and second, we finally call Jaylee Jenkins from Union, uh, Utah High School Activities Association 3A state champion. Could not happen to a more deserving woman. Could not happen to two more deserving and uh, incredible women than you and River to be able to do that together. Congratulations. Thank you.